Would you like to increase your form completion rates? Let me show you how with Jump Logic. Hey, Jet Farmers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the features landing page for Jump Logic. Now, in this video, we're going to cover just a few of these things, so make sure you head to the features landing page so that way you can see all of the different ways that you can utilize Jump Logic and Conditional Logic. So let's head over to my dashboard and let's build a form. Now for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and head up to the top left corner. We're gonna create a form. We're gonna start from scratch. And for this example, for the jump logic to make a little bit more sense, we're going to utilize the card form option. Now on the left-hand side, we're gonna go ahead and add a form element. Let's go ahead and make this first one their full name. Then let's add their email. Then I think I want this to skip. Let's say that I've already received their address in a previous form. Maybe they're already a current customer of mine and I'm wanting to send them something else. So instead of having them fill out their address all over again, I wanna ask them, would you like for me to send this to the address that I already have on file, yes or no? If it's yes, we're going to completely skip the address question. If it's no, the address question will show, so that way they can fill it out. So let's go ahead right here, yes or no question. Let's go ahead and update this. Perfect. Would you like me to send this to the address I have on file? Yes or no. And then we're going to add in the address field right here. Perfect. Then let's add one more. All right. Anything I should know now in order to complete this conditional logic jump, let's head up to that middle orange tab settings. Then on the left hand side, we're going to choose conditional logic. Then we're going to choose add a new condition and then right down here, skip to or add a page. So if it's going to be like, if this, then that. So let's select a field. So if the, would you like for me to send to the address on file is equal to yes, then we want to hide the address field. Perfect. Let's go ahead and save. Let's preview the form real quick. We'll do start. Since these aren't required, I'm just going to go ahead and skip through. So would you like me to send to the address I have on file? Yes. Bada bing. The address field is completely skippable. Now, one thing to keep in mind when you are building, if you have the page that you want to be skipped needs to be not the last page because the last page is going to have the submit button on it. So if the address was the last page, this would not work. So keep that in mind. Always add something else to the very end so that way you have that submit button. Now let's do some more conditional logic. So let's add in a drop down just for fun. And I'm going to do favorite candy and let's edit some options. Got to have Snickers. All right, we'll just keep it three options just for this example. So now let's head back up to settings. We'll do conditions again, and let's add a new condition. Now with this, again, you can see all of these. We can show hide fields. We can do calculations, which is really neat. We can enable or require a field. We can do that skip or hide a page. We can change the thank you page, or we can change the email recipient. So for this, maybe because they're choosing their specific candy, let's say we want to change that thank you page. So let's do if their favorite candy is equal to Snickers, we want to display a custom message on submission. So here we can create a custom thank you message for the person who chose Snickers because that is my favorite candy. So right over here on the right hand side, we have that gear. We can remove the image and we can upload our own. So we're going to upload file and choose our image. Perfect. So let's go ahead and preview the form real quick. We'll start, do the name, the email. Yes, you already have it on file. Let's do that one. And we're going to choose Snickers and submit. And now we have that custom thank you page for the person who chooses Snickers. But it is as simple as that. If you have more questions about conditional logic because they can really enhance your forms, definitely check out that features landing page. Now, if you have specific questions, definitely let us know it down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.